Welcome to the Power Packed Podcast. Please be quiet and courteous and silence your cell phones now. Be sure to grab some snacks and concessions, located in the lobby. And now our feature presentation. Prepare for better. Wiping, daddy wiping. What time is it? it do you know? It's no, you don't. Timex time. Timex it's, time. Oh, I guess you do know what time it is. I was going to say, no, you don't, because you don't have your Timex T80 34 millimeter <laughs> stainless steel bracelet watch. Oh, burr, 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 with orange the gold tone. Orange gold tone for $69. That is real. Go look it up. If you're on the Discord, you can see uh, that that exists. It's pretty. Like, I had a Timex back in the day. It was. One of like the plastic ones, I want to say. I definitely had like the when that was a thing, like having like a metal watch with the 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 display. But you know, it's it's 2022. The fact that this watch exists still and people are using it when you can buy like an Apple Watch or something else, or even like a Fitbit for sixty nine dollars. Why would you buy this? But it's class, I guess. I'm gonna embezzle the Patreon funds and buy you this. So. I'm fine with that. I didn't get you anything on your. I didn't get you like a baby gift, so this could be a Timex. (laughs) Get you Timex. (laughs) Only if you buy yourself one too. Uh... (laughs) So that means I'd drop one hundred forty dollars on two watches. (laughs) That's too bad. It's not bad. Yeah. (laughs) How much is a Rolex? Rolex is. I mean, you got to look it up now. Like you could see how many Rolexes you could get. Um. Or sorry, how many? Okay. First of all, they don't even look that cool. They look boring. Rolexes just look like like a fossil watch looks like a Rolex to me, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Give me a price, Daddy. Let's give Stop us. Stop giving price. me. See, that's the problem about going to the like the actual website. They don't give you. Let's look in eBay. Just eBay it, yeah. Or Am- I don't know if Amazon has it because it's really like fancy brand. Okay. I mean, here's one for. Okay, there's four watches displayed, and they're limited time deals. Guess how much the lowest costing watch is. Oh, boy. Uh, How much? $39,000. What? The highest is $128,000. But it looks just like a fossil watch. Yeah. I I don't understand Timex. No, it's you're getting better value (laughs) with the Timex. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too. I could get 1,000 Timex watches. Just all the way up your wrist, you know, like the meme where someone has like watches all the way up their arm. Like you could be like, you could be like a superhero, Timex, Timex man. You're like your armor on your arms is your watches, and you have them all synchronized to different time zones that you can travel to. Dude, yes, dude. Yeah. Okay, dude. I'm linking this eBay site to you. So many Timexes, so many choices. You got <laughs> okay. You got the T eighty Stranger Things uh, watch. That's pretty cool, actually. Timex T eighty Space Invaders, TX eighty Pac Man. Whoa! And you got the regular one, the silver fifty five bucks. That's not bad. That's good value. That's bad. Honestly, these are the fact that there's so many um, themed ones is kind of hilarious. Like the Pac Man Gold Watch is is downright hilarious. Can you imagine rolling into like just anywhere with that on? I'd be, it's kind of like um, the guy who used to go to the magic um, tournaments with the gold cartridge chain that you talked about. Oh, yes. I still, his whole thing, his persona, his look, everything, I could picture him perfectly. Like, I know if I saw him today, I'd be like, you're that guy. Wow. 
you're the, you're that guy. Well, like it's just burnt into my memory. Larger than life, you know. Some people just he's like the you know the Elvis of <laughs> the magic <laughs> magic of <laughs> MTG. Yeah. Oh. MTG baby. Yeah. yeah. So I. We're the. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead. No, go ahead. you go ahead. Yeah. I was I was just gonna talk about Timexes some more. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna get, get. Okay. How about this? We'll combine both of what we were doing. We are the Power Pack Podcast, a podcast featuring two dudes and no Timexes of this time right yeah. now. No Timexes. John and I, uh, friends for over over a decade, almost a decade, you know, a long time. Yeah. We've been making these fun projects and things, and but yet this whole time that we've been friends, 10 years, neither of us have had a Timex that I know of. So that needs to change. Let's let's get some Timexes Hold on, on Riss. I'm going to do this real quick. This might be an impulsive thing, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to look at our Patreon funds. Okay. <laughs> and try to get the time. Out. Okay. Oh. Okay. We are $7 shy of two Timex T80s. So, oh. I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like, well, it's obviously like, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with it other than do things like this. I mean, like podcast or JJ Fresh related, but you're like the little fund and then just buying two Timexes that we probably both won't ever wear. I mean, I'll wear it for any JJ Fresh event, any anything I can to just sport it because like that gold and orange, that's too classy not to... Not to show I off. mean, I'm going. I'm going to the symphony next month. I could use a Timex for then. Do some flexing with my Timex in. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, yeah. Are you? Uh, so you're yeah. going to a symphony? Are you? So you need a Timex? Okay. I need a Timex if I'm going to fit in with that classy crowd. Yeah. <laughs> show up with that. People are going to be like, man. And how? Oh gosh. How do I become his friend? They all just like they lay a red carpet out for you. They clap. They do like the soccer tunnel thing where they put the hands up and you go underneath. And they stick olives in my mouth that are attached to a toothpick. They just shove them in there. Yeah, they're like, there you go. That's that's a man who needs some olives right there. And they just like run over to you. You're getting hordes of people. They're like, can I take a picture with the Timex? And you're like, sure. And you just like put your uh, arm No, up. I'd be like, eh, I mean, wh- how much you got on you? I mean, it yeah. depends. <laughs> how much? Just like be a total scumbag. Just be like, yeah. You know, maybe th- you got thirty bucks. Yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you take a picture of my Timex. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can add a payout method and get these get these funds, and we can have Timexes in like two weeks. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, our Patreon fund is just uh, it's just sitting there. I mean, I know we're gonna use it for plane tickets, but yeah. So that's what's the question. More important? So a plane ticket <laughs> for um, John or okay, myself. At this, at this rate, though. If we're being honest, we've been doing this podcast for two plus years. Yep. <laughs> so we're averaging like a little over 50 bucks a year at current rates of plane tickets. We'll we'll have one in like 10 years. Yeah, I was going to say 10 years will be when we finally. <laughs> yeah. So maybe. The, so it's like kind of like what's the better investment waiting for that or getting some time X's for these. For these boys, <laughs> I think we get the Timexes, and then uh, you know we 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 talk, we review them, we can uh, talk about them on a podcast. Be like, what do we like? What do we dislike? I bet we could get you a know? sponsor from Timex. Like, who else are they? Like, who else is? There? I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but who else is buying them? So if we buy them and we sport them, they'd be like, wow, these guys, you know, with their almost three thousand subscribers. I mean, that's so. I if if you do get the Timexes, I'll try to use some business magic and see if they can get us like some sort of sponsorship, you know, just be like, Hey, John and I are a big fan of time X's. You know, we bought them with our hard earned Patreon money. Uh, and then every time we're doing like a food review, we just kind of like zoom in on the time X whenever it faces the camera <laughs> just, <laughs> and then put like a price and a website underneath and That's have so a mini fun. advertisement reel. Yeah. <laughs> You put this in the oven for 12 minutes, and then we're on our Timex. (laughs) And then zooming in on the Timex. For the whole 12 minutes, it's just on the Timex. (laughs) That's that's brilliant. That's so much fun, yeah. Well, this bakes in the oven. Let me tell you about this watch. It tells time digitally and the date and alarms. It's 
uh, an Indiglo glow light up watch dial with water resistance up to 30 meters. <sighs> you didn't know that, did you? Can you imagine us like do it's like sponsorship videos are always hilarious. Like, you know, product placement, things like that. <laughs> but, but one for Timex, it's like, where you'd have to really, you know, stretch that taffy, uh, to get, to, to get, <laughs> to get, get like, you know, people excited about that. I mean, the, I, the one thing I have to say is a big selling point is those custom Timex watches like Stranger Things and stuff like that. That's, that's money. That's pretty cool. That is the, yeah. uh, they, uh, there's, they're pretty, uh, well priced. They're not like the Stranger Things guitar, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Cause they, which I don't understand the difference between the two models, if I'm being honest. Because they had the the one that was like 900 bucks, which wasn't bad, but then they had the $5,000 one. I was like, what you, did he actually play this one? What's That's what I'm wondering. On? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't get that either. It's like, because, you know, it looks cool. It's like, okay, that's like really metal. And, but like you said, it's, it's just, it's like, oh, $5,000. That's, that's tough. Hey, speaking of new axes, I've been meaning to ask about this. How is the new guitar? Oh, how is the new guitar? He says, okay, okay. Well, I know that when you get, like, when you play guitars, you're not better based off of the guitar, but I'm noticing a night and day difference in just playability. And I think the main reason is the neck is, it's not fatter, it's thinner, but it's wider, if that makes sense. Oh, so like okay. from the E to the E string, it's just a hair wider. And so my fat fingers don't trip over everything all the time. Ooh. So it like plays like butter. And then the pickups are so clear, even with the distortion. So like you can play like a power chord and then say you're doing like a C, whatever C note, you know, for a power chord. And like you drop that high C note down half a step. So it's like a little distorted, like disdain feel to it. Like the, it's distorted, but it it's clear you can hear it it's like yeah it's the weirdest it's like distorted but clear and it's i don't know the pickups are i love them i love them so much oh no oh. sounds like oh, it plays like a like a baby just wham yeah. just nice wham. nice wham. whammy wham. whammy now yeah. i'm happy wham, to hear that whammy. you've been waiting very patiently for that and oh man i bet that was just like did you when you noticed when you got it were you did you find yourself just sitting there playing it for a long time or what was like that initial experience? Well, when I technically got it, I was out of town. Oh, <laughs> so, no. So I got a call from the Sweetwater guy. He's like, oh, hey, bro. Dude, guitar's in. It's in the mail. It got here. Uh, you still want it uh, plecked or whatever and blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? Like, all right, it'll take about five days to get in because of the queue. And I was like, cool, perfect. I'm going out of town. By the time it goes through that and it gets shipped, it'll be next week and then I'll be home. And then the very next day when I have a flight to catch, he's like, oh, dude, it's uh, it's done. It's shipping. I'm like, wait, what? Did it get plecked? And he's like, oh, yeah, it did, did. Just uh, didn't realize uh, the queue wasn't as uh, big as I thought it was, bro. Like, okay. Uh... When's it coming? It'll be there Sunday. And I fly back, I think Monday. Oh, <laughs> and so no. I, I was like, it was like a hundred degree day. So I had to ask my buddy to drive 45 minutes up to my house to put it inside when I got it. So that's good. Hey, <laughs> he that was did. a good move. That is awesome. Cause I was going to say, that's like leaving, leaving like a puppy or a baby outside. It's like, no. Yeah. But he owed me. He didn't <laughs> owe me yet. Uh huh. He did not owe me yet, but three weeks later he owes me so i'm going to consider that the favor perfect there um, you go because so pay it forward uh you want me to tell you why he owes me i oh. can i can tell you oh man okay so company float trip right it's going to be on a saturday you're going to just come out have some drinks float the river yeah dinner provided it's going to be a good time uh normal i originally signed up me and charlene but, you know, because of the whole baby thing, she's not supposed to be in, like, river water. Yeah. So fair. she wasn't going to come. So she was going to watch the dog. But then last, like, a month before this happening, she went out of town. Or she planned to go out of town. It's like, what? You're leaving? So now I have... What am I going to do with the dog? She's like, oh, just have uh, this person watch it. 
Like, you were supposed to watch it. She's like, yeah, I know, but blah, blah, blah. So I talked to this guy. I'm like, hey, 7 a.m., I'll be at your door with the dog. He's like, cool, I will watch the dog while you go on a float trip. Knock on the door, knock, 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 knock. No answer. Text him, no answer. The lights are out. And they have a dog, but the dog's not barking, so I think they're not even home. And I'm like, well, I drove 45 minutes to this dude's house to drop off a dog. I have all my float trip stuff ready. I got my oh. food. I got my swim gear and all that stuff. So I'm like, well... I guess we're going to try and get you on the bus, Myrtle. And because they, the company rented a party bus. Oh, uh, I see so saying. I didn't know if she was allowed on it. So I just brought her to the, to work and they're like, Oh yeah, I guess she can be on the bus, but I had no gear or plans to have her around. So I was <sighs> like, you will, you, yep. Yeah. So, uh, his debt is paid by picking up my guitar. So, yeah. so anyways, yeah, <laughs> he's got that. So <clears throat> that's good. Like you said, he had that solid, and then the other unfortunate that happened and, you know, such is life. But did you, were you able to actually float with Myrtle or would, what did you get to do or just hang out? Oh boy. She was a handful. So I was on a raft with this guy named Tim and his two kids who are like 10 and nine. So it was me, Tim, two kids and a dog. Oh, man. So when there was like steering that needed to happen, because there was most of the time you just floated, but there were sections where you kind of had to pay attention because there's kind of current and then there's like logs and trees just down in the water. Yeah. But I couldn't steer. So I was like, Tim, you're on your own. I literally have to hold the leash because the moment I give her slack, she wants to go in the water. Oh, which water dog. Yep. She did a couple times when I was trying to like help turn the boat a certain way. She would just hopped in at the worst possible times too like it was when there was fast currents and then the river was kind of turning and i was like oh my gosh and i had to jump in to get her because she still has her leash on and if that leash catches like a stick or something and rock like that's not yeah so i'm like okay here i go so i'm jumping in the rapids with all these like logs and debris around me grabbing the dog and trying to like maneuver around all this junk just to get back to i don't know no. i was like dog and that happened twice but i had so many dog park conversations it was not worth it oh no oh the dog yeah as you were saying <clears throat> man man i'm I, like, sorry I, I if i wasn't married i could have went home with six different like chicks but would i have no could i have yeah <laughs> because like I, like she'd do the thing where she's like i gotta poop maybe but i don't know i'm just gonna smell over here so i'm like by myself oh. on the bank just like with the dog and these people come up i don't mean to be weird but can i pet your dog i'm like <laughs> okay you can pet the dog and then they're like what what kind of dog is she what what breed of dog is this she's so pretty i'm like oh my gosh here we go i'm at the dog park yeah like, oh let me tell you about my dogs i have three dogs and two of them hate each other and i'm trying to get cell service so i can call my kids and ask if the dogs are okay and if they're not put them in separate corners i'm just like okay Ooh. and this happened throughout the trip <laughs> it's like oh no man that is brutal with capital b like <laughs> you you right. think you got away from it and it's like it's one of those things where it doesn't matter where you are with a dog you're gonna have those experiences we have that same thing too where we're out it's just somebody's like that's a beautiful dog i'm i'm going to pet this dog of you know like and it's like hey okay. <laughs> and uh yeah but it's funny that um just your experience with dog in the boat. I feel like it's very hard to have a dog on a float trip. Cause the last float trip I did, which was like, I don't know, 2020, I went with Andrea and a, a really good friend of mine and we brought Benny, my dog. And Benny. so what happened is we, we had two separate boats, right? So I had my kayak um, and, and I had Benny in the boat with me. Cause I have like, you know, like a, a lot of like whitewater rafting experience or whatever. So I was like, okay, I'll take the dog. I mm-hmm. feel really comfortable in the boat. And then Andrea took her boat and then my friend took his boat. So we all had our different boats, but Benny has like really bad separation anxiety. So what happened oh, no. is I got in my boat, got him in. He's fine. He's just chilling. And then we pushed out and I started floating away and he's kind of sitting in front of me. And since we're floating away from the shore, he's floating away from Andrea, which is basically his favorite. <laughs> so he has this look in his eyes as if like, I'm like, 
like drowning <laughs> my family or something. He just has this like, and he just freaks out and tries to jump out of the boat. He almost flips it. And I'm like oh. trying to hold on to him. <laughs> and then kind of same thing as he was like, he's trying to jump in the water. He's trying to flip it. So I had to like, I was already pretty far downstream. So I had to paddle all the way back upstream. And then Andrea, Benny and myself all were in my kayak and we were towing her boat behind me the rest of the way. Um, and I was like navigating through rapids and things like that. And he, it was just, yeah, it was just a nightmare too. It was, it was pretty fun, but he, he definitely made it more difficult. So that was my one dog experience. So I, I feel you completely. I, I can empathize with that. It's yeah, it's definitely a, it's yeah, it's an experience. Like most of the other dogs, they were smaller because your Benny's pretty big, huh? He's like 60 pounds. Yeah. He's a pretty big boy. Uh yeah, so that's about what ours is sixty five seventy almost. Oh yeah, so, so big, big girl the, too. Yeah, the other dogs were like small and they had the little life vest on, uh-huh. so they could just swim freely and like oh pick you back up in the raft no problem. With Myrtle it was I had to freaking <laughs> like pick her up like a person, so I had to grab her like under her torso and then use my whole body weight to fall back into the raft. <laughs> And oh, she'd no. fall on top of me. And she wouldn't sit down the whole trip. So you know how the like inflatable rafts have like the thick, you know, tube on the sides, and yep. then there's like two thick tubes in the middle to sit on. So there's like we put the cooler like in the middle and it was on like the black flat, whatever. She would not sit on the black bottom of the the raft because there was like an inch of water in it at oh, all times. She's like, Yeah, I'm not sitting on this. And so she would awkwardly try and balance on like the yellow part of the side. And she was constantly just like fumbling over herself and falling. And I was like, dude, just get it together. The only time she would sit was when I sat in the water and she sat on my lap. I was like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, got to love dogs. And their personality is just uh, too big, too big for sure. That is really funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think we almost drowned once, but that's Oh, okay. no. Jeez, like all of you guys? <laughs> no, okay. So at the very end, Jeez. I could see the finish line where like the buses were to pick people up and take them back to the camp or whatever. And as it was like waist high deep water, so I was kind of swimming. And Myrtle was up in the raft and she's looking at me like, I want to get in. Let me get in. I'm, and, okay, that's another thing. When I was in the water, she was hesitant to jump in the water with me. What? But when I was in the raft, she wanted to jump in the water. Like she was. She was totally fine flopping in. So like when we were, it's like, what are you scared of me or something? Come on now. And so I just like tugged on her leash and she's like, oh, okay, I'll get in now. It's fine. And so then she'd like swim around me and stuff. But anyways, so I was like, okay, we'll just swim the rest of the way. I'll hold onto the raft or whatever. And if you get tired, I'll hold onto the dog and she can get a break while I walk down and then she can swim again. So I was like, oh, no problem. But the raft got ahead of us and then it started to get really deep. And no. so I couldn't, I couldn't touch the the river bottom, and the dog's getting tired. And so like I called for a life jacket, and some Caleb he threw one at me, and so I tried to put it underneath the dog, which would have worked. But she's just like, I don't get this. I'm squirming away. I was like, Don't do it. No. no. So then I tried putting it on me, but she started like losing energy and was climbing on me like i'm oh. done swimming you're not my life jacket i'm just oh. like oh my gosh you were... it's like <laughs> like claw marks all over me so oh. i had to bay watch her to the shore which there was no shore it was just a cliff side and so i was sitting on rocks still in the water and this guy had to help like summon a canoe to help us go the rest of the way but <laughs> wow like, man you like, oh. like you had quite the experience like that's crazy. Was that recently too? I was like, that was last week. And then what was funny was, so the guy's brother of, who, so the guy on a raft, his brother came to me to work on Monday, and he was like, "Dude, what happened?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "So it was my, it was Tim, his kids, you, and your dog on the raft. But when the raft pulled up, it was just Tim drunk out of his mind, <laughs> and he didn't even know what was happening." <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It's like, where did his kids go? Where did y'all what? go? Whoa. I was, like, I was like, I think his kids went on some, I don't know where his kids are, but this oh. is what happened to me. Dude, <laughs> so, that is crazy that it's like you guys, he saw, he saw all you guys leave and then he saw the guy come up with no one else, but just drunk out of his mind. 
<laughs> it was funny because he was having Miller lights and he's like, man, I'm not feeling it, dude. I'll be right back. And he went to this guy who brought three gallons of jungle juice. When people who don't know what jungle juice is, it's just like rum and rum and like just lots of hard alcohol. And so he brought three gallons of it. Whoa. And they were just drinking it out of like the spricket of the container. I was like, <sighs> that's, I'm not doing any of that. And so he comes back. He's like, yeah, I had some jungle juice. I had like three shots. And some guy brought homemade moonshine. He's like, I had some of that. So I think I'll get my buzz. And I'm like, I think you will too, buddy. Whoa. And this is the and guy who's like, like <laughs> yeah, this is the guy the who was drunk at the end. <laughs> yeah, just oh. steering the boat. And in 15 Damn. minutes, he kept falling out of the boat. Oh. <laughs> and we were having to pick him back up. It's like, oh my gosh. Thank goodness it sounds like it wasn't too big a white water. Because that's the thing I never understand. Like, because we used to do float trips a lot in Oregon. Like, people just get drunk as skunks and <laughs> like go out and like get on water. It's like, what are you thinking? Like, it's just crazy. It's, it's such a bad mix. It's the terrible mix. And yeah, like, I didn't, people were like, dude, have the moonshine, have the jungle juice. And my excuse was, uh, I need a cup. So I didn't have any because I. <laughs> It's like, I ain't drinking that stuff. It's like 90 degrees out and someone's got to have a clear mind. So I don't know. Audio overload. Yeah. By Josh Karsh. My computer, I think because it's old, it's like five years old now, I want to say. But yeah, I look over because I was like, you know, it's just running and it says audio overload and logic and it stopped. And I was like, no, because we're having a good conversation. I hope it caught, it probably caught most of the river story, which is good. I think so. If anything, um, you could just leave the remainder of the river story just so people aren't like hanging and then just (laughs) pick it back up here. (laughs) And then we'll do that. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, it's just all of that is crazy. And yeah, it's it's funny uh, because I've known some people going and doing float trips recently. And that's something I used to do a lot in Oregon. Well, we could we could talk about our float trip story. We had one you and I way back in the day. Which <laughs> do you mm-hmm. remember that one? It can be. I yep. do. All right. I'll, was uh, it the Clackamas or something? We were. Um, maybe we did. Was a couple. It on the Mal- we did Malala. Well, yeah. Was it Malala? Okay. I remember we had like Creed play. No, we kept singing like Boom River or something. We oh, had some boom weird river, boom, river. <laughs> boom River, Boom River. Uh, yeah. And so the story, I'll just summarize it real quick. And John remembers. Oh, and you were late for yeah, work. Yeah, it's very embarrassing. <laughs> but so John and I did a float trip once, which was, it was really fun. But I was much younger, just for the record. Like like I said, 10 years ago. So I didn't have the best judgment. And so... Uh, so John, I was like, Hey, let's do a float trip. He's like, yeah, sounds good. So we, we met up at Canby and we like got all our boats and everything. And we were looking, John was looking at the time. He's like, Hey, don't you have to work tonight? And I was like, Oh yeah, it's fine. Uh, this should be super quick. It, it, you know, I, like, I'll be fine, but I've never done the stretch of river. So I was obviously being an idiot and I was like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, well, I'll be good. So, you know, we do a float trip and just like super fun. And then I like, we finish up and I'm like, oh, my shift started an hour ago. <laughs> well, so I was like, even like before that, I was like, hey, uh, we got to, we should probably get out and get you to work. Are you sure? And you're like, ah, oh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's all good. Yeah. And I, I was like, yeah, not a big deal. So yeah, I remember we like got everything. I think we had to go back to your house and then I had to drive from Camby to Oregon City. And I remember showing up and one of the managers there was like and it's funny the the other part i'll tell too is so i got there and i guess the other person on shift didn't show up either for some reason i don't remember their story (laughs) so the manager was like like hey can i talk to you real quick and then i got written up (laughs) because they're like they're like because i'm no job i've ever been written up which is really funny like ever and yeah they were like yeah like you're super late and we couldn't get a hold of you because you know we're on the river right in my phone <laughs> and they're like what was, go- what was going on and I was like I forgot what I told them and m- I might have just because back then I was just like I was just dumb I think I was like oh I was on I was do- doing a float trip or something like you know like some stupid answer and uh, yeah and it was funny because the other person who I didn't expect to be like a no call no show type of person didn't show up so that one manager 
was there by themselves with no coverage of anyone for like a while. And yeah, I was either an hour or two late. It was like pretty bad, but we learned from our mistakes. And, uh, but on the flip side of that, John and I had a really fun float exp- experience. So I would definitely go and float them all again. That was, that was a good time. Cherish it forever. No dogs, just people. That's the perfect float trip. Yep. Yeah, that's what we need to do. So when you guys, maybe next summer, if you guys are in town, we'll do a JJ Fresh float trip. We won't bring any dogs. Just no dogs. Just, 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 um, just the good old fashioned. And then, uh, I'll, uh, I'll go from there to the Regal and then I'll get written up for being like, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll teach these youngsters how to do the marquee correctly. Yeah. Not sure. Right. <laughs> yeah. Here you Those go. Swisher sweets. Hey, put that letter on there like this. Let me, give me that stick. I'll show you how to do it. That's so great that you guys, you and Kyle did that, right? Like you and Kyle showed up with cigars, <laughs> right? We, yeah, we had cigars and someone was doing the marquee and, uh, we're like, no, let's, let's show you how it's done. <laughs> You start putting up letters or something, and we couldn't get them to stick. I remember. I remember they kept like falling, and we're just like, I don't know. It's just, I'm sorry, teenager kid. Well, can you imagine? Imagine if you're that kid, and you're like, I'll just say if I was in that kid, and I'm trying to do my job, and these two dudes like with cigars show up. Like, hey, let's show you how to do this. We used to work here. Who are these people? I would be oh. so confused. Well, that's always the case when anytime we show up, like I feel weirder as I get older showing up and there's like nobody working there. I think at this point it's just like Heather and Justin. I think that's all that's left um, of the the original uh, Regal crew. Wait, wait. He's still there? He, he Last time Cody and I went there, which wasn't that long ago. I think it was 2019, let's say. Uh, mm-hmm. He was still working there. Justin was. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, whenever you're back guy. in town, by the way, I'll get, you know, you know, Cody's going to be living down. And so whenever you guys, you know, come to Canby again or whatever, and you got a couple extra days, I'll come down to Portland. We'll get Cody. We'll go to the movie theater. I wish Kyle was around too, but he's in Greek doing big things. And so oh, us, he's us in losers. Scotland. Oh yeah. Sorry. He's in Scotland. That's true. Well, he was, he's Greece, out there. Man. He's out there drinking that Guinness and, you know, cooking haggis and haggis, bacon potatoes, <laughs> bacon Whatever. potatoes. Yes, <laughs> exactly. arg matey. Arg. <laughs> doing pirate stuff. Yeah, arg. Getting my degree in theology. Arg. arg. Very impressive. Oh. Yes. No, I'm definitely happy for him. But that, like I said, he, he misses out on, you know, the uh, the 30 year old deadbeats going to the the regal. I don't know. It's hard because. At what point do we stop going? Because if there's no one there that we know, it just gets weird when we show up. And it's like in between. I feel like every time we show up, it's in between when movies are playing. So there's no one in the lobby. And we like show up and we're like taking pictures of the building and like come in the lobby. (laughs) Hey, is Fernando working? It's like he hasn't worked here for like five years. Okay. (laughs) And then we leave. Who was it where I was taking out the garbage and there was a van parked in front of the dumpster and there was clearly a couple in there being nasty. I forget who that was with, but when I die, I want my grave to be in the lawn next to where that van was just by the dumpster. (laughs) That's a a little like regal headstone. (laughs) They should have a regal. Dude, can you imagine if they had a regal cemetery right there with just like all the ex like employees? (laughs) That's one of your benefits you pay into. You get a free, a free plot if you work here. <laughs> you work there longer than like a year. That's one of the benefits you sign up for. It doesn't matter where in like in the world you die. They fly you back and bury you there. <laughs> it's like say the president of the United States one time worked at Regal. He has like a binding contract to be buried yep. <laughs> in the plot like, next to the movie theater. It's like, sorry, you don't get to be buried at the White House or whatever. Yeah. You yeah. You get to be buried by the movie theater. Yeah. Yeah, you sorry, had an but, agreement. You signed yeah. on the dotted line. Yeah. It's like, okay. You belong to Regal now. Yeah. <laughs> Man, mm. I that is so funny and so horrifying to think of. And yeah, it's 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 weird that um you know, some place that's very like I don't know, it's just it's still to me is really funny. Like I'm doing this podcast with you right now. I'm hanging out with Cody later. Um 
all stemming from that like job that we all worked for maybe like a year doing at a movie theater. It's just, it's crazy. It's the core part of our golden age. Yeah. Golden age. Golden age of regal friendship. Yeah. And man. Yeah. Now, uh, many years later, Timex watches. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's the part. By the way, Patreon says I can withdraw the funds in a week because I just added a payment payout method. So, uh, I don't know, maybe in a week we'll have uh, Timex watches on the way. I mean, Ooh. just saying. Okay, I'll send my... Do you have my address? I'll, I'll text you. or I'll, Yeah, go ahead I'll and text me that, and I'll, uh, I'll send you a Timex, bro. Can you... How cool I, does that sound? I'll send you a Timex. Like, yeah, bro, let that me just sign makes you it sound Timex. like you got it together, dude. Yeah. I, hey, let me send you a... Hey there, let me send you a Timex for your troubles. Like, <laughs> like you have a, a party, you know, like old school party favors, you know? Hey, what'd you get, little Jimmy, in your party favor bucket? I got a Timex. Oh, <laughs> snap, dude. <laughs> that guy's dude, got it together. Dude, he's he's handing out Timexes. Dude, uh, no, I know. That's a that's a level that you just, like, if you reach that, you know you made it. And yeah, I'm excited. I think the fact, (laughs) just so dumb that you're like, right, we're gonna. (laughs) The fact that you're about to drop 140 bucks in two Timex is just brilliant. I can't wait to have this, and it's gonna be part of my JJ Fresh collection. So I think eventually I would like to. um, I don't think Regal would because they own it, but you know how I talked about having the Regal um, Museum, like the JJ Fresh Museum. Oh yeah, yeah. Of like artifacts like the leather jacket, the gold glasses, the winter hat, the Timex, the Possum King book. We need it's to make like a it's like yeah. a sports bar when they have all like the jerseys on the wall. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's what I'm thinking. Just like its own museum segment. So I think we just gotta get the 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 gear. So I have I think the matching Timexes is gonna be a really good part of that too. So <laughs> And you know, you know, at like parks and stuff where they have the plaques, where it's like, these are the animals that live here, or this is the history of the park. It's like they had 2.7 thousand subscribers on YouTube. It's like not even a lot. It's so sad. It's so sad. Oh. It's like, okay, why is this? Why is this here? Yeah, why? Did, who? What's, whose tax dollars paid for this? Like who uh, are these people? <laughs> that's the best part. Yeah, it's like a very not like not a very not enough to be like noteworthy. It's like okay, they had. Like, <laughs> uh, okay, so I think we talked about this. So what would be in the JJ Fresh? We'll call it like the memorabilia m- museum. So we got the Possum King book. We got the matching Timexes that we're gonna have. We got the the JJ Fresh outfits. Um, do you still have a Regal? polo or can, i think we need to find one i think i threw mine out because it smelled so bad same i but you can get them on ebay yeah i think we could legitimately go because you i think you i might have told you this but i found a bunch of weird old polos upstairs when i used to do like the night shift at regal so they keep them you should just go to fernando and be like <laughs> dude can i have some polos I think I'm he, sure would. He, he, he sure could. he could. Next time you're in town. I'll hit him up. I don't have his number or anything, but I bet we can find... I know he's a real estate agent, so I'll just like contact him through his website or like his, his ad, and I'll be like, hey, remember me? I, I don't want to buy a house, but I do want to buy some polos. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Give me some <sighs> polos. Yeah, that's... Man, so yeah. We're going to be working on that, but I'm excited. You know, actually, this gives me something really, it's going to be something really funny uh, that'll show up in the mail is a Timex. I'm going to. Dude, uh, I'm excited Andrew's to work like, to work. Heck? Oh, you should, man. People are going to be like, it's, whoa. It's going to be so out of character for me, but I'll just be like, dude, check out my drip dog. Yeah. <laughs> Got that Timex. I, uh, I, so I, I wear an Apple watch every day, right? So I'm going to definitely, when I get it, um, next event or thing have I go two to. watches on on both wrists yeah I'd be like what time is it oh <laughs> let me check my timex yeah i might put a piece of painter's tape on mine because i don't if i have it i'll just keep looking at it like what time is it oh and then the day will go by really slow so i might <laughs> or i'll just wear it upside down yeah there you go and well it's more of a it's a piece of art really if you look at it like the golden orange the 
the time you know for me it's just going to be part of my collection like i said you know i got my possum king book that's come in i got um quick plug speaking of which we need to announce that so yeah. i mean yeah. quick plug um do you want to announce i mean you're the one who wrote it or do you want me to if you whatever you're comfortable with but we should do that I to cap like, off episode i feel like that raft story took forever so i think it's your turn to uh take the wheel <laughs> hey that was a great story so I'd, I'd be honored, honestly. So uh, everybody who's listening, if you listened up until this point, you know, with the episode almost being over, big announcement. And you're a true rat. Yeah, you're a true rat, and we appreciate your business. And so big announcement, J- um, Jared Nunchucks has officially released The Possum King. It is available on Amazon um, and other outlets. Amazon probably the main one. But you go on, uh, you get a free – you could – check it out on kindle for free or you can buy yourself a copy paper copy which i recommend for nine dollars and 99 cents um pick up a copy support um shop local <laughs> shop uh, local Shop local. get get yourself a, like i've got one john's got a copy crumb's got a copy like everybody's doing it it's the coolest so why not just pick up your copy read it and most importantly leave a good great review so that we can get more Jaron and Chuck books out there into the world because hopefully we can and uh, yeah I say that with the most sincerity that you should check out the Possum King yeah and then, I mean the holidays are around the corner get a couple books for stocking stuffers I mean Halloween trick or treat Thanksgiving you could surprise whoever's cutting the turkey uh, what's inside here oh whoa why is there a book inside my turkey like check it out I mean there's yeah. uh, there's opportunities to oh, spread yeah the word and because jr nunchucks isn't me it's no. y'all because y'all pick the name if y'all remember i mean yeah. it wasn't that was i want to look at what our other options were uh let's see they're on youtube that. let's see yeah i'm gonna look up too i think it's um it was two it's got to be a two-year-old post because that's how old this idea is so we got uh, oh, fresh oops. we got oh community. here's uh 11 months ago so our options were Randall Peeper Malala, G.R. Wilkins, Jorquina, Jorquina Wilbert, J.R. Nunchucks, and J.R. Hart Nunchucks. So I think that's an easy win. Yeah. So second place was 25% Randall Peeper Malala, which R.P. Malala. And then second, 17% gr wilkins then eight percent for queen and wilbert but 50 percent so six votes of that was jared nunchucks and i also have the results for last week's poll what is the superior haircut or was it last week or two weeks ago i can't remember. Uh, i think two weeks yeah nine days ago bowl cut wins 38 percent Ooh so. yeah hey you know what you should make so i know this isn't a poll but just a post for the Possum King, he could be like, or you could do a poll. Um, well, maybe not. You could just do a post. I feel like that's a, a good outlet to be like, hey, Possum King's out. Check it out, you know, because I think, okay. I think okay. that's a good outlet. You know, you got, you got the 2.89K subscribers. So that many people, they, they see that and they, they'll, get, they'll get to check it out. Grab your – help me write this. The Possum King is here. What should I write? I have the picture. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I have the picture for sure. So um, the Possum King is here. Pick up your copy today on Amazon. Cop a copy, my filthy rats. Yeah. Okay, and I'll, link, I'll link it. I'll even do a link. How about that? Yeah. What's funny is I can type in Amazon, and I can type in the Possum King, and it pops up. <laughs> it's like, what? Yep. You're... Oh. You're famous, man. That's it's that's a thing now. Oh, I need I need to tell people to leave a review. Oh yeah, leave that's important a too. Five star review, <laughs> my dudes. Yeah. Cool. There it is. Yeah. Posted. Let's check that out. I'm refreshing. I'm excited to check it out. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. Already, I literally just clicked it. How fast is the internet nowadays? Holy cow! That's dude. really fast. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That cover is so good. Uh, and some props to um, Gary Graphics. The van style 
Um, art and stuff reminds me of Borderlands 2, which is a huge compliment. I love that game. Yeah, he done good. He done good. He did a real and he, good. He he made the house kind of like how I pictured it, just a small little thing in the woods. So yeah. I was like, oh yeah, he he done did it. Yeah, he done did it. That's right so is. amazing. Well, congratulations on the book release. Um, big things coming for JR Nunchucks. Um, more things to come oh. for. JJ Fresh in the coming months, you know, we'll get some more stuff out there for you. We got, um, we got to work on some more music. We got the Malfoy. I'm going to work on my part so that we can finally just post that. Uh, but yeah, it's just, do we, yeah. we have our band camp, right? Or do we need to make a new one? <laughs> I don't think we can get into the old one, which is like, I wish we could get in the old one. Cause those songs, it's like, it's the versions, you know, just me as a snooty audio engineer. I'm like, Oh, I, I want to redo these. Cause like, it's like, I just didn't know what I was doing back then. But, uh, it's like being able to get in and cause I like the, the artwork and everything you did for it. It's, it's beautiful. So maybe we can, you might be able to do a password reset if you, if it's the same email. I don't, I think we made this email for just the podcast. So I don't, I honestly don't know. <laughs> oh yeah. Unless it's your like the Mr. Blue one. Here we are talking behind the scenes again. That's yep. what we do. We just we divulge into planning. Well, whatever. Well, uh, let me see if I can get a password reset. If not, I can. We'll get a new account made, and then we'll drop um, Malfoy on there and whatever new songs. I'm gonna work on. Um, I still want to make um, the half pipe one. Half pipe. We just. I'll find like a yellow card amp sim. I'll just. I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking yellow card. Yeah. No, it's like. Yeah, you can do your um, the easy drums, and um, I'll throw down some vocals, maybe some bass, and you can do some guitar and drums and some keys, and then we'll just good to go. We'll make it happen. But yeah, so uh, I don't know what time this episode is because we had that weird audio difficulty. Yeah. But uh, I don't know what it's almost what six your time five. It's almost uh, yeah four fifty. I'm gonna run the store and get some stuff and okay, yeah okay. yeah. So, so sh- I guess uh, that's a wrap, huh? Timex is coming soon. Possum King, order it. Yeah, uh, what else we got? Yeah, your um, baby's healthy, happy. That's good. Yeah, happy, yeah, healthy yeah. baby. We got um, John survived the rafting trip. All good things, you know. So yeah, mm. thanks for listening. Mm. Thank you for tuning in to our regularly scheduled program. Contact Josh and Jonathan at powerpackedpodcast at gmail.com. Support the show at patreon.com slash powerpacked. See you next time, you dirty little rat babies.